Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath another one video and in this video we are now covering the Blade Expert Toolpath one of the most unique and special toolpath for the Mastercam to create a blade and impeller kind of components and now we are already previously created the total number of three videos on a Blade Expert topic in a first video we cover how we can the simulation file how the material have to be removing if you have a blade expert toolpath where we learn about the what is the process of blade expert what are the steps to be created the toolpath how the first the roughing after that the blade finishing and after that the things are how is going after that we are creating a toolpath to create uh, how we can create the roughing toolpath for the blade expert where we learn about the what are the blade what are the different kind of parts for the blade and what what is the name of blade and how we can select how we can define during the creating of a blade expert toolpath and after the next in, in the last one video we learn about that how we can create a finishing toolpath for a blade especially for the blade portion of uh, my blade impeller part and now in this video we will create a toolpath for hub finishing as well as the fillet if you are new on this channel or if you are new for this one video please first go and watch over mastercam multi access series and if you are new for the blade expert first go and watch all these three previous video so you will get understand about the basic things about the blade expert if you are thinking about you can watch this video directly and learn the things you will get nothing from this video first you have to go and watch the blade expert first blade expert second video for the roughing blade expert third video for the blade finishing and after that you can came on this one video for the learn about the hub finishing so now let me start how we can create toolpath for the hub finishing for creating toolpath for the hub finishing you can copy a toolpath right it from here and you can create a new toolpath so now i would like to create a new toolpath right it here and just click on a blade expert i just choose the tools with last as i choose the last time now i have to came restore uh, you have to define a holder properly because you have five you have to perform this toolpath on a fully 5 axis machine where the collision and all the things have to calculate properly in the next step you have to define a stock it will be auto calculate accordingly to me. and now in the next step that is called cut pattern in a cut pattern previously we already learned about how we can create a roughing as well as the blade finishing and now in this video we will learn about how we can create a toolpath for the hub finishing when we are just click on select a hub finishing toolpath there is a one thing in at right at here as you can see here this is at here hub will be finished properly in hub finishing there in a sorting portion there are two uh, four number of options are available as previously so we are choosing zigzag start from the leading edge it means uh, it will be entered right at from this one if we are choosing from the triangular edge it will enter from right at here so for this one you can choose according to your project or something like that in the ordering you can choose from the left to the right right to the left or from the center plane it is the best way and the easy to use in the next step at here we can define the step over for the hub finishing how much uh, how the tool is going to be work and step over according to the your choose according to your tool and material you can define the step over for now i just define the 0.5 for the worst single way in a first cut if you want to reduce the feed you can define right at here and you can reduce the feed also in the next step we have to came in a part definition you have where you have to define the part of my this one toolpath in a part we have to came on a blade toolpath we have to define the blade of two different blade and we have to define a hub if your hub and blade are created on the multiple number of surfaces you have to define the all surfaces in the next step we have to define the segment when you are creating the first toolpath make sure you have to define the minimum number of parameters so i just choose the segment should be one and just say okay now as you can see here my toolpath is created for the hub finishing now look at the beauty of this toolpath it is starting to cut from the center created a complete proper toolpath from the, it and consistently center away and cut a per, in a perfect way cut toolpath for the, all the portions so now as you can see here this is used for the hub finishing or you can also say this is used for the 
floor finishing of my blade now I define the total number of segment is the 20 number of segments and now as you can see here the toolpath is created in a perfect and a proper way so now the one thing is done that is called a hub finishing and after that we will create a toolpath for the fillet finishing so for creating a fillet finishing first we have to go on a home and choose what is the radius portion of my this fillet for this one we have to use a command which is called the dynamic just click on here and as you can see here this toolpath corner radius is 3 and something and the diameter is 6 according to that as we analyze we can choose a tool which is called which diameter should be 6 mm so we are choosing we will choose a 6 mm of ball nose for this one purpose so for that again we have to go in a tool path and first we have to click on a blade expert once we click on a blade expert we have to choose a new tool for this one purpose so we have to go select a tool library and choose a 6 mm of my tool which we use to finishing our flat portion in the next step we have to came in a cut pattern previously we created a tool path for this one half finishing and now we can create a tool path for the flat finishing at flat finishing that all the parameters should be same and similar like as a blade finishing because it is also a part of blade so write it here we have to define the contour it is similar if you are not have much idea about it go and watch our blade finishing portion of my blade expert toolpath in the next step what is the method I just defining one way ordering from top to the bottom and bottom to the top in the next step the cut direction clamp or conventional in a blade area there are two different things are available first blade side and second hub side what is the meaning of blade side uh, what is the meaning of blade side now blade side means this is the blade side from the inner blade portion how many cuts we need to finish this portion finish this area so you can define the total number of cuts right at here and in a hub side how many cuts we need that we can define right at here and this is called hub overlap it means uh, how much toolpath we have to create for the overlapping purpose so we are just defining two at here the number of cuts we can defining the total number of cuts would be 10 and at here hub overlap means it's a step over value for example we are just defining the two and now we will see the result but before seeing the result we have to came in a part define we have to define the flit this is my blade this is my hub and in a segment I just, just choose the segment should be one and just say ok so now look at this toolpath once toolpath is done so how it is going to be created like that we have to came on a parameter came to the cut pattern the fillet finishing with the triangular it should be in one way ordering should be from the top it should be in a clamp but what is what has the issue at here you have multiple three different options for the big tool same as the hub side it means it will be calculated same as as we defined right at here if you want to choose according to the tool diameter so it will be choose according to tool diameter also so we are defined if you want to choose the different cuts for the hub as well as the blade you can choose the number of cuts so at here we are choosing the number of cuts stay and at here we are defining the step work so at here I just choose the step work is 0 0.1 or 0 0.15 and just say ok so now look at the things and the beauty of that thing so now the toolpath is created these are the total number of cuts are 10 similarly these are the total number of cuts 10 if you think about that that my previous tool size is large and according to that need some more tool cuts you can define the cuts right at here and according to that you can control the things from this if you have want to create a or extend the cuts you can define right at here and the step over value you can just define right at here so right as you can see here once I say the calculation of my tool path, as you can see here, this is total number of 12 pass, this is total number of 10 pass for the hub. The blade cuts are these, the hub cuts are like this. 
so as you can see here my tool path is created for the one single blade for the one single flit cut if you want to check the simulation for this one I just came here reduce the speed of my simulation and look at this it's entering in a perfect and a proper way cut the blade part only it is my tool is not going to be touch on a blade or something like that it is just going to touch for the, that one area now look at this if you want to increase some speed just once my blade portion is completed it will going to be came for the next one hub area and now tool path is created calculated properly and my part is going to be finished in a perfect way for the flat area if your total number of segments are 10 we have to go in a parameter and go to the part define and we have to just define the total number of segments should be 10 and just say okay so when I just choose say okay so according to that my tool path will be created so as you can see here this is tool path for the blade this tool path sorry this tool path for the roughing this tool path for the blade this tool path for the hub finishing and this is tool path for the flat finishing so I hope you got understand about each and every single step of the blade expert go and just join our channel to get access for these model files and keep learning and keep growing for the more videos